Yeah, I suppose Cork have been the surprise packages of the championship so far. Um, I thought it would take at least two or three years for them to return to the Super Eights, and they've they've they're they're ahead of schedule. Um, you know, in the rejuvenation, I suppose you could say. Uh, Fair play to Ronan McCarthy. What he's done and, and, and what he's done with his forwards is terrific. They seem to have done a lot of work on their forward play. And uh, I just thought last weekend Leash were so naive to leave uh, two on two in their full back line with Brian Hurley on fire and Mark Collins equally equally on fire. He was red hot. I thought it was so, so stupid from John Sugru and his, and, and the Leash management team to leave them so isolated in the full back line. And as we've seen in the Munster Championship and last weekend, you know, this Cork team can get goals. Hurley, Collins, they've got, they've got plenty of pace throughout their team. And uh, I think they've got 10 goals in their last three games, which is, which is phenomenal, really. Now, they're playing the All-Ireland Champions. This is going to be a different kettle of fish. Jim Gavin is not going to leave space inside. You're going to see Keno Sullivan probably dropping into that zone right in front of Hurley and Collins and that's going to that's going to quell that service into that pair um, I think Dublin will give Cork a rude awakening here because Dublin once they enter the Super 8 they're going to start progressing further even more so than what we saw in the Leicester Championship I think you'll see a, probably Dublin's best performance of the year so far and there have been some good ones so far I think this could prove that Cork are just a, like they're, they're probably a year or two too soon for the Super 8 and, and it could just be a it could be an ugly night, I think, for Cork. I, I fancy Dublin minus 11, but the best bet on the coupon, I think, is over 3.5 goals at 6 to 4 for sport. I think that's a huge price because, as we know, there's goals everywhere you look at this Dublin team. And if, 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 if Hurley and Collins can find some space in that uh, Dublin full back line, I'm sure they'll, they'll get on the score sheet as well. So, over 3.5 goals at 6 to 4 for sport, I think, is a cracking bet.